Hi, everybody. We're going to have a tatting 101 tutorial today. I am using Elizabeth size 3 thread. It is 100% Egyptian cotton, double mercerized. So there is specific needles for design for tatting. And if you notice, the eye of the needle is the same width as the rest of the needle. Unlike, say, this darning needle, see how this is bigger than the rest of the needle? The tatting needles are all the same size from the eye down to the point. The point is blunt. It is slightly tapered, but it is a blunt tip. And this is a number three tatting needle to go with my number three thread. The general rule of thumb is your thread and your needle should match in size. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is get the thread through the hole on the needle. <laughs> and if you have trouble with it, you can use a threader. Sometimes it goes smoothly, sometimes it don't. I probably should have grabbed a needle threader. Okay, hang on, let me get that. Okay, I'm back. I got my needle threader. In case you haven't seen one or used one, it's just a small piece of wire that goes through the head of the needle. And you then can place your thread through that wire mine is well used. There we go. Maybe. All right. And then what you do is just pull it. Well, mine breaks. There we go. <laughs> Good thing they're cheap and I got a whole bunch of them. Okay. Normally it doesn't break, but like I said, mine's well used, so... That one's now trash. But anyway, you pull the thread through with the needle threader. All right. So since we're only gonna make one ring, let me zoom back out a little bit. Excuse the coffee stain there, geez. Since we're only gonna make one ring, we're only gonna need eh, four to six inches of tail here. Not a lot. Then you're going to want to run your thread up your needle to your index finger on the back side of the needle. Then you'll take and hold that thread with your index finger. If I can get a hold of it here. Come here. There. All right, I got it. <laughs> All right, so we have on the back of our needle, the thread going to the working ball of thread on the left. Our tail out the eye on the bottom. Now to make the first half of our double stitch, we are going to Take our index finger, hold the thread between your middle finger and your thumb. Take your index finger and go under the thread and over. Now you're gonna scoop that thread off the top of your finger from the back side here and aim your needle towards the end of your finger. Show you again. 
you're going to go under the thread with your finger and up pointing the same direction as your needle bring the tip of your needle towards your knuckles scoop under that thread and point towards the tip of your finger the same direction it was slide your finger off the thread and it is now onto the needle that loop you're going to pull it down tight to your index finger okay that's the first half of a double stitch let's do the second half the second half is the same idea just the opposite direction so we are going to go under the thread and over and catch this back leg, the underside of it. Instead of catching the top, we're gonna catch the bottom. Okay, let's do that again. We're gonna go under, over the top. Now, it kinda looks like knitting needles. Your needle is pointed towards your index finger. You're gonna reach down and scoop that bottom thread up and off your finger. Cinch it down and you have now made your first double stitch. We're gonna make two more double stitches. Okay, you hold that double stitch with your finger and as you can see, I'm putting pressure on it. You don't have to put as much pressure. You just wanna hold it in place. All right, next one. We're gonna go under and over. Scoop off the finger, point it in the same direction, slide your finger out and cinch it down. That's the first half. Second half, under, scoop that bottom thread and slide off, cinch down. There's your second double stitch. Let's do the third one together. Under and over. Scoop that top thread off. Cinch it down. Under and over. Get that bottom thread. Slide it off. Cinch it down. You have now completed three double stitches. Now we're going to do a pico. It's not hard, but it's those pretty loops on tatted items. All you will do is place your finger creating a space between this last double stitch and your next double stitch. Zoom back out for you. Okay, again, we're going to make another double stitch. We're going to go under and over, scoop off, cinch down just to the tip of your finger. There's your first half. Now we're going to go under and over, scoop that bottom thread off, cinch it down. And we now have three picots or sorry, three double stitches, one, two, three, a space for our pico, and another double stitch. You will now take your finger off that space and slide down that double stitch and hold it with your index finger again. And now you have a pico. Now we're gonna finish this off with two more double stitches. Again, under the thread towards you, over, away from you. Scoop the top thread off your finger, cinch down. Under, going away from you. And pick up that bottom thread. Just like that. Need to move my working, my work here down the needle. All right, try again. 
cinch it down to that double stitch. Again. All right. We now have three double stitches, one pico, three double stitches. We're going to create another pico. So place your finger on the needle, creating a space between your last double stitch and your next double stitch. Double stitch. And slide it down. You now have two picots. We're going to finish that with two more double stitches. Okay. We have one, two, three double stitches, pico, one, two, three double stitches, pico, one, two, three double stitches, pico. I'm going to slide that work down and we're going to make one more pico and three more double stitches. Create a space with your finger and double stitch. Slide that down. We now have our three picots. All we need is two more double stitches. There's one and two. Okay. That all situated so you can see it. All right, so we have now the first section before the pico of three double stitches. We have our pico, three double stitches, pico, three double stitches, pico, three double stitches. Now we're gonna close this up into a ring. Okay, so we have this loop that we created when we brought the thread up the needle and held it with our index finger at the beginning. We're gonna pull this from the eye so there's only a little bit of tail here. And now we have a loop, we've created a loop between our work and the tail. What I want you to do is turn your work So the needle is pointing straight away from you. Put your thumb and your index finger on those last sets of double stitches and hold them good and tight, but not so tight the needle won't slide through. I want you to take your fingers and grab that loop you just created and hold it so it doesn't disappear. And now we're gonna pull this tail and needle through all of our work. You ready? Here we go. Okay. So what we have is our loop that we were holding on to. All of our work, the thread that goes to our ball of thread now the thread that comes out the end here goes to our needle. And what we're gonna do is pull that needle through this loop that we have created. Pull that needle through. Okay, so now we have our tail through that loop. We're gonna go back and hold that into the work again and cinch down that loop, just like that. Now you don't wanna to go too tight or it'll throw everything that you just made all out of whack, okay? Now we're going to pull that tail one more time so that way it meets up with the end of our work, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and make a knot to lock all that in place. Okay. 
there you have it. You have made your first tatted ring with three picots. See, that wasn't as hard as it sound. Okay, I will be back for more tutorials to continue on the tatting, needle tatting process. I hope you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any questions, please comment down below. If there's anything you would like to see as far as tatting or go more in depth or learn about that I haven't covered in my tutorials and future tutorials, then please let me know in the comments. Until next time, thank you for watching.